Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd. I ran across this really cool feature within Simplify 3D that I need to tell you about. You may already know about it, but what the heck? I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> Let's do this. Are you ready? Go. Ah, welcome back. Hey, don't forget to hit this subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel. My buddy Anthony over at the hot end uploaded a, a video where he he did a time lapse and, and showed off a print of this, this rocket jet. And I think I found it. I think I found it on Thingiverse and I really wanted to print this and so so I did. Here it is. It it's it's really cool. This is using the protopasta silver smoke PLA and I printed this on my GMAX 1.5 XT. It's a hollow model and it's using Simplify 3D's vase mode, so it's one perimeter thick. You can tell it, it gives a little bit. Gives a little bit right there. There was an issue. I was in vase mode and I was doing my perimeters, but it kept having to skip around to three different spots in order to deposit a small amount of plastic, which was breaking the spiral mode and taking up a little bit more time, and I finally figured it out. It had to do with these little dots inside the jet boosters. These, these little dots ended up being a column of sort and ended up stringing and taking up a lot of time to print. I thought, well, I think, I think I can fix this and simplify 3D using the separate connected mesh, meshes? Separate connected meshes feature. Uh, and it, it worked great. So let me show you how to do that. And in order to do that, I need to take you into Simplify 3D. Hey, look at that. We're inside of Simplify 3D. Let's import the model. I'm going to click import and I'm going to use rocket plane for 2x scale up dot STL. Here's the rocket plane. I'm going to double click and then in X rotation, I'm going to type minus 90. And that's going to point it straight up. I can hit done, and then I'm gonna hit center to arrange. And that, there we go. So that's the orientation on the print bed. But because I'm printing on my GMAX 1.5 XT, I need to embiggen it. Let's go to 300% size. That about fills the platform. And just to give you an idea, this should tell you, it is 435 millimeters tall. That's a big, a big rocket. In Simplify 3D, I'm going to use something called vase mode, and I already have it checked right here. Well, single outline corkscrew printing mode, and in parentheses, vase mode. This essentially makes one perimeter of filament around the outside in a spiral all the way to the top. I can tell I also set my infill percentage to zero, and I, well, even if I change it, I think vase mode cancels it out. Well, regardless, let's hit OK. And then let's hit prepare to print. Simplify 3D is going to slice it quickly like it always, always does. Now it's reading the G code it produced and there it is. The blue feature is the outer perimeter. And if I go here to movement speed, it's gonna tell me the speed at which things print. And it looks like this prints kind of fast and this, this, this slows down a bit through here and it gets faster again and then it slows down all the way to the top. Let's go back to feature type. And I'm going to slide the end slider down. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at this. What, what are these things on the inside? They build up. And then look at this. They, they come back. Let's zoom, zoom way, way in. There they are. Look at that. Well, that's kind of strange. Let's zoom back out. Look at that. They build all the way up from the bottom. That is that is very interesting. I don't know if it's an error in the model or an error in Simplify 3D, but it's something that we can definitely take care of using a cool feature called Separate Connected Surfaces. Separate Connected Surfaces is a feature that finds parts of the model that are separate surfaces in the way that the mesh is concerned and then breaks them apart into pieces here that you can treat as separate models. Watch this. I am going to go up to mesh and then I'm going to click separate connected surfaces. 
Simplify 3D is going to chew on this for a little bit. Imagine this uh, as the beef jerky of the 3D printing world. It's really got to chew into it and savor it for a bit. It doesn't take too long. Wow, and look, this is why it's been working so hard. Look at all of these. Wow. Wow, that that is a bunch. Well, here, let's click off. Let's scroll to the top. So what we can do now is start unchecking because the check mark means it's viewable. So we can uncheck to make things disappear so we can see which ones of these are which. And I have an idea if I uncheck that one, there is our rocket. Oh, and oh, I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if I can, I can zoom in right here. Do you see that tiny, tiny little orange column right here? Wow. There it is. And here it is up here too. It looks like that tiny, tiny little orange column is coming out of each of the rockets. There they are. Wow, okay. And so that's what's producing the problems in Simplify 3D as far as depositing the filament in that little column. Well, we, we don't need those. So what I can do is click here I can scroll all the way to the bottom. I can hold down shift and click, and that's gonna highlight them all. And then I can click remove. They're gone. Put a check mark back in this one. Zoom out a little bit. So there's our there's our model. It's still just as tall and just as awesome as we saw it before. Let's hit prepare to print. Go, go, simplify 3D. That's a simplify 3D theme song, apparently. Let's move the end scroller down. And if you look here, look, 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 right here. There are no errant filament columns being produced. Oh no, right at the top, look at that. Right at the top. <sighs> well, shoot, we got rid of 99%. 99% of those filament columns that we, we didn't want to deal with. Well, it's better this is better than it was before because with those columns in there, you're going to get some stringiness like I showed. But now that now that this is the only little dot of filament, it will get caught on an edge and it'll be removed easy. And you will have a massively tall jet sky rocket engine thing to zoom around and play with because you play with your 3D printed models, right? I do. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Well, I'm going to send that to the printer and I'm going to print it out. Well, that was cool, wasn't it? I hope I hope you knew about that feature. And if not, I hope I was able to explain it in a way that you could use it in the future. So next time this model prints, which is right now. Yeah, look at it. Look at it go. It's printing right now. It didn't have to do the, the insides of these little jets with those columns of plastic because we removed them using an awesome feature in Simplify 3D. Well, we've reached the end. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Throw a dollar my way via patreon.com if you have it. Again, I don't require it. All I need is a social high five. And speaking of high fives, as always, high five.